So with these NVIDIA GPUs coming out anytime now, they were just recently announced. We got the first batch September 17th and then the following week 3090 and in October we got the 3070. I know that all of us are gamers. The little gears in our heads are just churning to see which one do we buy? What's gonna be the best performer for the dollar? I see you, you're thinking the same thing I am. That's why you're here watching now, right? Is the new NVIDIA 3080 really worth $200 more than the 3070? Well, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on it and you may actually be surprised at my conclusion. So let's get started and let's talk about these new GPUs. I'm gonna explain a couple of different use cases, a couple of different scenarios, but if you wanna know the answer right now, for most people, I don't think it is. I think most people are gonna be absolutely thrilled with the 3070. So let's get into a different couple of reasons. That way we're gonna rationalize if it's worth it or not, and then you guys can see if you agree with me or maybe if you have a different opinion, remember to leave it down in the comments. So reason number one. So across the board, all of these GPUs got incredible performance advancements that we're not really used to seeing from previous generation GPUs. What I mean here, remember when Nvidia said the 3070 is faster than a 2080 Ti? So that's definitely pretty impressive. If you would have been happy with a 2080 Ti, let's say like a month and a half ago before Nvidia announced everything, if you would have been perfectly fine, then the 3070, if it's faster than a 2080 Ti, logically, you're gonna be more than happy with that as well, including playing at 4K resolutions. Usually these sort of cards would never do 4K very well, including previous generations, like even the 1080 Ti, which is a fantastic GPU, would struggle in some 4K games. It was only until the 2080 came around 2080 Ti that we were able to see 4K gaming really reach nice usable levels. We saw these 144 Hertz monitors come out. So this first reason I think is a really, really big deal. The 3070 is insane performance. If it's faster than the 2080 Ti, you're gonna be more than happy. So as long as you can get one for a pretty fair price, if you're gonna get from NVIDIA, it's 499. Remember the third party um, GPUs such as from EVGA and Asus, most likely are gonna be a little bit more expensive, somewhere in the $500 range, I would guess. Maybe upwards of 600 if it's like a really beefy model with like, you know, uh, multi-slot cooling, like maybe like an EVGA Ultra card or something like that. But in general, should be pretty close to the $500 mark. So this round one, definitely goes towards the 3070. The 3080 is also a phenomenal card, according to Nvidia, twice the performance of a 2080, which is definitely pretty insane performance as well. So I would say for 99% of gamers, the 3070 is gonna be more than enough just because the simple fact is there. There are no smoke and mirrors, the performance is there, and that's really all you need to know. Of course, these are gonna be confirmed by real benchmarks, real reviews, which we don't have access to yet, but judging from what we see so far and from Nvidia statements, the performance definitely is gonna be there. In all of the GPUs, primarily the 3070, looks like a really great value proposition. So now let's talk about the second point, or round two. 3080 over 3070, this is why I think not. Now, in the past, I've gamed a lot on a 2080 Ti. I really like learning about the strengths and weaknesses of other GPUs. So even, let's say, if I own a 2080 Ti, and ideally, you would wanna play on that all the time, I've bought other GPUs, such as, you know, even the AMD 5700 XT, uh, 2060s, 1660 Ti. The reason is, I wanna experience the GPU myself playing games that I like to play. That way, when I discuss these GPUs with you guys that may actually own them, I can give you like a real world experience because I've played them on my own systems. I've played it with games that I like playing. I can see what the limitations are and really what happens. What I actually found out was surprising. Even though I'd have that 2080 Ti there, which could crunch through you know most games really easily, a lot of the times I was actually pretty happy with the actual gaming experience with something a lot less. Even the 1660 Ti or the 2060, most of the time, um, and now this is not gonna uh, apply necessarily to 4K, just because at 4K and beyond, that's when you start to really push your system, and that's where you're gonna notice a lot more of like bottlenecking on your GPU, so that's gonna be a special case, but when I would play this at maybe even 1080p, like 144 hertz or even 240 hertz, when I would play this at 1440p, even ultra wide, the difference between the GPUs wasn't really like as massive in terms of the actual 
actual gaming experience. Like if I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the FPS counter, which I, by the way, I turn on on every game if it's available in game or like MSI Afterburner. I just like seeing the numbers and seeing what my FPS is. I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way as well. So if I sit there and I play with a 2080 Ti and I'm getting 150 FPS in the game, but then I, I go to like a 2060 and it's only like 80 FPS or something like that, theoretically, of course you're going to be like, oh, I'm not happy with this. That's like almost half the, the performance. Why would I ever want to play on this? But if you ignore that FPS counter and you're just playing the game, having fun, most likely you're never going to notice a difference. It's going to be very hard to notice a difference as long as the FPS is above a certain threshold. A lot of people say 60 FPS. Sometimes it could be 80 or 100 depending on the type of game. If it's a really fast game, like a, like a FPS first person shooter game, of course you're going to want a lot higher FPS for a better experience. But if you're playing something that's a little bit slower, maybe like an RPG or like a very wide open game, um, there's a good chance you're not really going to notice that huge difference um, especially if you have that FPS counter off so that's what I noticed I was happy playing on some of these GPUs that people would consider a lot lower than perhaps a 2080 Ti the gaming performance didn't really suffer as long as it was reaching certain minimums now that's gonna be different at every game and every resolution but definitely it's always gonna be lower than whatever the top GPU can give you having said that that's why this argument makes sense when we're talking about the 3070 versus 3080. Forget for the fact that the 3070 is faster than the 2080 Ti, so it's gonna be able to give you pretty much pretty awesome performance at most resolutions, including for a lot of games at 4K. It's gonna give you a lot of very usable performance. The 3080, well, yes, if you have that FPS counter there, of course, it's gonna give you higher performance in terms of the numbers. It's not like we have any crazy new monitor technology that's really gonna be a lot different than what people have now. Yeah, we have some 4K stuff out now that's better than before with high refresh rates. We have these 360 um, hertz refresh rate monitors. Those can always take advantage of faster GPUs. For the most part, people are still playing at 1080p, 1440p, maybe ultra wide, little 4K here and there. So in general, between a 3070 and a 3080, if you ignore the frames per second counter, the actual numbers, I think your gaming experience is still going to be really fantastic and you probably wouldn't even notice a difference just because the 3070 is already such a capable performer. And of course, you can sort of go down the rabbit hole and say, if that's true between these two GPUs, what about the upcoming 3060? Of course, now that's going to start being true as you go down the line until you reach sort of a certain minimum where it's acceptable for whatever game you're playing. I think the 3070 is the GPU that's going to comfortably be able to really make people happy playing most games, even AAA titles, esports titles, at not only like the minimum resolution, but higher than the minimum resolution, something that is really enjoyable to play and something that you're really not going to notice the difference between a 3070 and a 3080 unless you're watching that frames per second counter or you're really really pushing like a 4k game then you may notice a difference now so these are some of the reasons why i think most people are going to be more than happy with the 3070 of course we do have other factors that can also play into this um, some people like to really future proof themselves of course if you get a 3080 most likely you're going to be able to play more games in the next couple of years than the 3070 even though the, the gap probably isn't huge um, it's just a more powerful GPU. There's no way around that. If you're looking at the frames per second or not, um, it's a more powerful GPU. And eventually, as technology and game technology gets a lot more demanding, which it definitely has recently, like even with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, um, some of these new games are very, very demanding. So if you're going to be keeping a GPU for like two or three years or something like that, maybe is the average, may make a little bit more sense just because if you spread that out over three years, it's really not as big a deal. It's not like it's something you have to pay every year or every month or something like that. These GPU upgrade cycles have been a little bit longer. The 20 series came out a couple years ago, um, so it's not like they come out every year. CPUs seem to be a little bit more aggressive, you know, sort of with their release timelines. So if you're somebody who really wants to future proof, then that's when I would spend the extra 300 and get the 3080. And once again, let's say if you're the type of person who instead of buying just on numbers, if you like buying on sort of how something makes you feel and maybe on the emotion side of it, um, that's completely valid too. There are people who buy like that. That can happen to me or even you on many different items. Sometimes you see something doesn't make as much sense with the numbers, but you just sort of have to have it just because it's really cool or you want to have something that's fast just so you see benchmarks. 
contracts. So those are all like valid reasons. And if those are your reasons, then you can sort of see with yourself, um, see if it's worth it to spend that extra money. I'm just saying that for a nice gaming experience, you definitely don't have to spend the extra money upgrade to the 3080 because the 3070 has what it takes to give you a great gaming experience. It's going to be a really nicely performing GPU. Let me know in the comments down below what you're planning to do. Do you think that difference is worth it? I'd love to hear what you think. Remember to subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you guys in the next video.